G'day mates, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm just making a quick video explaining how to set up Streamlabs chatbot. Now there's other videos out there already explaining how to do this. I just wanted to make a nice, quick, concise one because I'm going to be making a video series on my YouTube channel explaining what to do with a Streamlabs chatbot to drive interaction on your channel. Um, the question that I get most when I'm streaming is, I have zero to five viewers on average, they're not talking, I have no one to talk to, what do I do? Um, I've always seen solutions to this to be things like just be more interactive, talk about the game, but that can only happen for so long. I think people want actual answers of how to make people talk in their chat or how to drive people to want to talk in your chat outside of just the gameplay of what you're even doing. So I'm going to make a quick video today explaining how to set up a Streamlabs chatbot and I'm going to make a series of videos how to use that chatbot to drive interaction, things such as setting up a stream currency so that people can compete with each other for who's the most active and they can kind of flex how much they support you, things like that. They can then play mini, gun, mini games with this currency. I'm going to show you how to set up commands and specifically commands that drive interaction and make people want to talk to you while you're streaming. So if you want videos like that, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and yeah, we'll jump straight into it. Let's make a quick video on how to set up Streamlabs chatbot. It's very, very simple, but I thought I'd go through it just to start off this series, just to make sure we're all starting on the same page. Let's get into it. All right, now we're just gonna jump straight into it. It's not gonna be very long. I'm just gonna show you very quickly how to download Streamlabs chatbot and how to get it up and running. Now, if you're downloading Streamlabs chatbot and you've come to this video, I'm gonna assume you're already using Streamlabs. Just in case you're not already though, guys, Streamlabs is a very, very good program to stream off. It's my program of choice. It's very, very user-friendly. Uh, it's not too RAM heavy. It's a great program. If you haven't already downloaded it, um, I'll leave my affiliate link in the description if you wanna download it using that. It helps the channel. If not, just Google Streamlabs and you'll be able to download it. If you wanna download the chat but though guys I'll also link this description down below from here you're just going to click download you're then going to save the file wherever you want to save it it's not a large file and then you're going to run the file once you've run the file, it's going to take you to this page here. So this is going to be your chatbot. So like I said, ch this chatbot does run client side, which means it runs off your computer as a program. So you're going to have to run it every time you go to stream and then you're going to have to reconnect it. So I'm going to show you how to connect. You're going to click this connections button down here in the bottom left. From here, you're going to be connecting three things, your Twitch bot, your Twitch streamer and your Streamlabs. So for Twitch bot, I need to make this very clear. You need two accounts on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, whatever program you're going to use. It will work on all of them but if you're going to be streaming off twitch you need to make two accounts one for your stream mine is aussie antics but also you need to make a second account for your bot i called mine aussie antics bot because i'm very original now from here you need to generate a token generating your token is very very simple you're going to click generate token you're then going to log in with your twitch bot account details do not log in with your normal twitch details okay so i'm going to log in with aussie antics bot and then i'm going to put in my password and then you're going to get this page here. It's going to ask you to authorize your channel. So you're going to authorize. This will generate the token here, as you can see, and then you're going to click connect. Now, like I said, you're also going to want to do the same for Twitch streamer section right here, but here you want to make sure you're using your Twitch streaming username, not your bot username. So same thing, generate token. You're going to log in with your Twitch account details. Then you're going to come down here to Streamlabs. You're going to do it one more time. You're going to generate token. You're going to log in with your Twitch channel. Okay. I'm going to click connect connect and now all three of those sections are connected and I'm good to go that's it that's your chatbot installed and set up it is that simple I wanted to keep it as quick as possible like I said once you get to this point though this is where all the fun happens I am going to be making lots of other videos on how to use the different functions you can see down here there's a lot of them I'm going to be making a video on not all of them but all the main ones most important ones to drive interaction on your channel this isn't going to be some kind of lofty um, way to explain how to get interaction and get people talking these are going to be actual solutions using this program that you will I guarantee you will get more people talking in your chat and you'll get more people people building a community and interacting within your chat not just with you you might be in a crazy fight you might be shooting someone down or whatever game or program you're using and you want your stream viewers just to talk to each other there's going to be uh, mini games they can play with each other there's going to be things that won't require you to fully give your attention at all times to keep your audience engaged and happy so if you want videos explaining how to do that guys please subscribe to my youtube channel i'm going to be uploading them very regularly if there's any section of this that I don't upload a video on and you want advice on, or you want help on, let me know in the comment section down below. If there was anything with today's video that, it, that didn't make, quite make sense to you, please leave it in the comment section down below. If you want to follow what I'm doing, like I said, I am a streamer. I stream a lot of different games. Please check out my Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv slash Aussie Antics. It's going to be in the link down below as well. Um, other than that, guys, any questions, leave them in the comments. Hit up my stream and I'll show you a bit of a more of the way that you can use this in a more organic way, which the videos will explain, but you'll see how I do it live stream. So come check me out guys. Hope you had a happy day. Good streaming and I'll see you guys soon.